Hi folks, Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about using custom expressions in ArcGIS Online. It's quite an exciting day. Listen to this. Writing a custom expression in ArcGIS Online using the new Arcade scripting language is easy, powerful, and has deep implications for education. Arcade expressions described in full here allow you to make maps from simple calculations, from functions, from data conversions, and from brand new representations of your data. In my example, as I will describe it in this video, I wrote an, an expression that symbolizes cities based on the percentages of 18 to 29 year olds in that city. However, this blog essay shows that more advanced and powerful expressions such as if-then statements and others are possible. Now under change style in ArcGIS Online is where you enter the expression under custom expression as follows. See under change style here you choose an attribute to show and then you write your custom expression and I will demonstrate that in a moment. My expression is to calculate the percentages of 18 to 21 year olds plus the 22 to 29 year olds out of the total population for each city in my data set. The expression is as follows. I'm going to round the feature age 22 to 29 plus the feature age 18 to 21. So I'm really taking the attribute values of that point data set, which is the feature, divided by the total population in that city times 100 to get the percentages. And then I'm going to round it to two decimal places. My resulting map is as follows. Now I've got cities symbolized with a larger symbol for the percent of 18 to 29 year olds. So let's explore the patterns in a moment. Now before we do that though, just a note. One of the chief advantages I think of expression building is that the data that you are seeking to map does not already have to be part of the existing attribute table in your data. So you're in a sense creating that data with your expressions. Wonderful. So you don't have to go out and mine the internet or go out to Excel or, or ArcGIS desktop to generate that table. You can do it right here in ArcGIS Online. And teaching students how to use these expressions to achieve a desired result, build skills in GIS, computer science, SQL statements, and mathematics. Now let's t take a look at the map that I've got right here. So here I've got this map with cities in Colorado symbolized larger symbol, larger circle for larger populations. So you can see these are cities over 10,000 people, larger symbol, larger cities. Now note the pattern here. Note especially Durango. Pretty small, it's in that lowest category, 10,000 to 15,000 roughly. Okay? But now if I go to 20, 18 to 29 year olds, if I symbolize that and turn off the other, now you can see the difference, right? Here's the original one, okay? So now notice that Durango is quite large because it has a college for one thing and it has a younger population. So the, the relative size now is larger because it has more 18 to 29 year olds. Let's take a look at the expression that I built in there. So remember it's under style. So I go under style and look, it's custom expression. And I'm gonna go into edit mode so I can show you what it looks like. Now the nice thing about all of this is that it's they're easy to write. In fact, you even get a example in the comments field, as you can see here. So it's it's rounding and it's showing a division and it's actually showing you a percentage. So I'm rounding the age 22 to 29 year olds plus the age 18 to 21 year olds divided by the total population in that census year. It's important to divide by the same uh, data set, right, as you're customizing. So you don't want to mix apples and oranges. That's it. And let's say I want to edit that. I can see all of the variables on the right side that I've got to choose from. And I also can see some of the functions that are available to me. Now, if I want more information about, you know, what's the absolute value? How do you return that? Abs means absolute value. So, wow, this is incredible. You get all of the, the information at your fingertips. And again, the most powerful thing, folks, is that if I cancel this and just show you what's in the table of the data, I've got 
raw numbers of people, including the 18 to 21 year olds, the 22 to 29 year olds, and the total population. I don't have a percentage in my attribute table. But in a sense, I can access that percentage just by writing an expression. So think of the kinds of things you can do here uh, with these expressions. You can do powerful things with mapping and analysis with custom expressions in ArcGIS Online. Thanks.